Welcome to The Final Wager, where tonight we're celebrating the 13th victory by Julia Collins. She's got it locked up before final, and to celebrate, I'm going to share with all of you an unfortunate memory of my childhood. That of having a bowl cut for maybe 13 years. Yeah, it was a painful time in my life, and as you can see now, I keep it a little shorter. My mom thought that with my forehead the size it is that a bowl cut had to cover it up and she wouldn't let me get a crew cut like all the cool kids. Thanks mom. Love you. Alright, let's see how much Julia can put on the line. If Lara wagers everything she will have 13,600 so to stay above that Julia can wager up to 4,200. Serena has less than half of Lara's total, so Lara can wager up to 800 to stay in second place. I'm hoping she does so. Serena can't say too many good things about that $200 daily double wager with only a few clues left to play and less than a minute remaining, and Julia having a commanding lead. She got it wrong, yes, but you gotta play the game to win. Okay, let's take a look at how our players did. All three players missed, but it was all good in the wagering hood tonight. Julia's becoming a fixture. I'm starting to get fixated on my hair a little bit for some reason. I don't know. I'll figure that out. And I'll see you here tomorrow on The Final Wager.